Hey guys, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. You're also going to want to hit that bell button so you know anytime we post something really cool. Right, Heather? Right. Welcome to the Gospel Cast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. On this special episode of the Gospel Cast, we're going to talk about some things I found in my parents' basement, aka a lot of my childhood. Oh my gosh, I am so shocked. I had no idea that you did those things. Did what things? Went to their house and brought, like, tons of crap back to our house. <laughs> <laughs> so, I went over, I found a whole bunch of really cool things, uh, brought them back. In fact, I found a couple things for you. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Some really cool things. Oh, yeah. But some of the stuff I brought back, it seems like most of it was Star Wars related. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll kick this thing off and show you this uh, Gunga Salt... Uh, Gungan Assault Cannon with Jar Jar Binks. And Whoa. it appears that uh, somebody poked holes all in top of the box. I don't know why they did this. It was I probably you. Well, no, it wasn't. You were probably I, doing some weird, like, five-year-old kid well, no, experiment. I, it, for me, I would have opened it and I would have played with it. But, well, maybe not. It is Jar Jar Binks after all. <laughs> wah, wah. Um, but this has a bunch of holes poked in I don't know why. I don't know where I came from. I think I'm going to pull it out of the box. And uh, give it to my son. I think that I think he would like that. Oh, I don't he know. would love it. Wouldn't it be really funny if I pulled it out of the box and he just like threw it in the garbage? That's Why do funny. I want this? I don't want this. Poor Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks doesn't get any love. Nope. Misa, nope. I hate my life. <laughs> also, while I was down there, I found some old Power Ranger stuff. I found a couple other enemies. Um, this is one of them. The most popular, I think, is Goldar. So. There's Goldar. You want to hold him? Yeah. And then I found this white tiger zord. And this thing... I So, funny story about this. We, as it... When I was a kid, uh, my family, we all went to uh, uh, Hawaii. And mm -hmm. while we're in Hawaii, my parents were literally hitting every store to find this. Because it was right around Christmas time. And they could not find this anywhere. It was like the hardest thing to find at the time. And we came back from the trip. My grandparents came over. And they gave me the set. They found it. Wow. And they gave it to me. And it was like one of the most amazing things of my entire life in that moment. And I think I played with it one time. <laughs> I don't think I played with it much outside of that. But this guy is not in very good shape. It, you can see he has lights and stuff inside of his mouth. I mean, he was a cool toy. Uh, he, the battery compartment is opened up. So there, there's no uh, cover. So it would be nice to have a cover for it. Um, but he turns, you know, he turns and it's like a transformer, I guess. He, uh, he, he transforms his little head thing. He has his head right there. And I could go into a little bit more. I don't know how else that this thing breaks down. I'm sure my I, I'm sure 10-year-old Chris could have figured this out right away. Um, oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I still got it in me. But he kind of comes apart. Look at that. And he has his feet. And he's so cool. And look at Boom, boom, boom. There he is. What I liked about these guys is that they were really easy to um, open and, or transform. Like... He was very simple to, to transform right there, as you can tell. So there he is, his robot mode. He's so cool. You can't even see the battery compartment really anymore. It's under there. But he's a cool toy. So him and Goldar, they would run and fight and do all these things. Uh, Power Rangers was a huge thing in my life when I was a kid. And I uh, hear remnants of it. <laughs> really sad remnants. Here's some sad remnants. So when I was a kid, I had a ton of action figures. And I just went down there to find out just a couple of different things that I had. Um, I, found, um, I found this one. This is really special. From Jurassic Park. And Malcolm. Look at him. Isn't he so cool? Whoa. I thought he was pretty neat. Look, he's even wearing the sunglasses. Like, what do you even do with this action figure? Like, he's in a suit. In the movie, he run, I think he runs. He gets hit by the T. I guess you could hit him with the T-Rex's head <laughs> or something. So then I have this guy from Thundercats. Uh, he's not really an action figure at all. And, he, and the date on him is 1985. So he must have been from some set. I, I'm not even aware of what the set was. But... He just kind of stands there. I don't even remember this as a kid. I don't even know where this came from. This guy is very important in my life because he was the very first Batman action figure I ever had. And my parents bought me back in 1989. They bought me the Batmobile from the original Batman movie in 1989. And we could not find a figure any anywhere. And finally, they ended up finding me a figure so I could put him in there. So isn't he cool? And He's he comes really with cool. like he comes with like this little thing. What? And then he, Whoa. Yep, he has like a little, like, I, I guess he uses that to like grapple on the different things, stuff like that. I don't know what I did. Maybe I ra he probably wrapped him around something. Can he grapple point. on my finger? He might be able to. 
watch me get injured. <laughs> Cut your finger off. Somehow, yeah. We had this He-Man. There he is. Look at him. He's so cool. What he has he um he had this backpack, and I think you put caps like in there. And you remember those caps you put in a cap gun? Yeah. And you would you would like twist this, mm -hmm. and it would like explode and stuff. So I I don't know. Who knows? There there must have been a story behind that in the in the uh, cartoon. That sounds really crazy. Yeah. Um. I remember this guy. Uh, very well. He, they're cool. The the He-Man figures are always very cool. Look, he does like even a punch movement. Yep, yep, punching. See, girl, girl toys didn't have to worry about any of this stuff. You guys were more worried about like what they were going to dress in and wear. We were mm -mm. we were busy worried about what they were going to punch and hit. I played with a lot of Polly Pockets, so like they would dance and like go drive around their cars and stuff like yeah. that. But the little Polly Pockets, the original. Yeah, the OGs. I remember. Uh -huh. not, not the big, weird Polly Pockets. Well, you had Polly Pockets, and we had um, Mighty Max. Did you ever play with those? Oh, yeah. Loved them. You did? Mighty Max was awesome. Yeah, they were really little, and they came in these cool heads that were like skulls, and you could open them up, and it had like this little world in there. Yeah, And they had these little cool. characters that played around in it. It was really neat. Yeah, I still have all my Polly Pockets. Whoa! All of them. We'll have to bring them over, and maybe we can ride around in that little car, huh? Yeah, I took it into show and tell actually in the first grade. It was really cool. That is like the I was like the story coolest. Ever. I was the coolest kid. No, really, it is. It's a cool story. But here they all are. Look at them, Ian Malcolm. Doesn't he fit in there perfect? <laughs> There's like all these like random like characters, like superheroes, and then Ian Malcolm. <laughs> He's even waving. <laughs> that that was what he came with. He man can punch. He can grapple. He stands there and looks like a, a dope. Well, he's waving too, but Ian Malcolm just waves. Here are a couple ships I found that were in pretty good shape. These, these little wings were not on the ship when I found it. I found them in another box. Oh, but wow. this is a cool one. So it has like these little guns. It even makes like a gun kind of noise. Wow. You have Darth Vader's TIE fighter there. Yeah, and you can open this little guy and I guess put a Darth Vader in there. Put yeah. a Darth Vader a in there. A Darth Vader. Well, there's so many. I know, right? And like these things go up? I thought that was really It has cool. little cannons that come out. Yeah. That's yeah, neat. this thing's cool. It has a compartment here. It has this like little walkway that you can pull out where Boba Fett can walk out with Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, this thing, this like capsule comes off so you can put the figure in there. And then what I noticed right here is that it has like a little like where Boba Fett goes in, you can push it up and down. It's like he's sitting in there in the cockpit. So this is a cool like ship. I remember getting this. I was really excited about this when I was a kid. Uh, my grandparents hooked me up with this. I think I, that was a Christmas gift. Were you so excited that you played with it once? You know what? I actually got a lot of use out of this. My Star Wars stuff, I usually got a pretty good amount of use out of. You didn't um, like my joke? Okay. Your joke was hilarious. I only played with it for a minute. Can I make you feel better? I only played with it for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And also, to go, hey, look, he can't fit in there. But here's uh, Darth Vader. Um, he's still, like, all together. It's uh, the old action figure. He's, he's not so missing cool. any fingers, right? No, he's not. He has all of his fingers. They're all here. He even has gloves on. Like, these figures are pretty cool. Like, th this particular set is pretty cool. Um, the lightsaber is a little bent up, but that's okay. But, you know, he's pretty neat looking. It, I like how it's all cloth. There's, like, leather under here. He, he's, a neat, he's a neat action figure. Yeah, they don't make them like this, I don't think. Mm -mm. No, not mm -hmm. anymore. Mm. <laughs> I figured it out. How, how about if he actually rode around on his TIE fighter like that in the movie? Is that the noise it that makes? That's exactly the noise that it makes. Really? Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah. Wow. Sure, good for you. I have this Han Solo on Tauntaun. Look how big this thing is. Cool. Look even the Tauntaun's face. I mean, the Tauntaun's face looks like, like the movie. He's I cool. mean, it's really it's really impressive. They have a lot of detail um, on these on these action figures uh, for, for this time. I mean, you're talking about a time before, like, hot toy kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, or at least before popularity of stuff like that. But you, you have this guy, and look, he has fur on his hood and everything. I mean, this is a really mm. nice action figure. So the last things that I found in my basement weren't mine at all. They were my sister's. And they were sitting up on, like, a shelf. And my, my sisters didn't really want this stuff. I had asked, talked to my parents about it and everything. But when I saw these things, what we're about to show you, Heather's name was, like, written all over it. Not literally, figuratively. Because Heather talks about these guys, or these girls all the time because they were a big part of your childhood right? they were we used to like put the cassettes um in my dad's car when he drove me and my sister around and he would get so sick of listening to them that well hold on let's show him what it is so you've got posh spice 
and Scary Spice and Sporty Spice. Okay. And I have Baby Spice and Ginger Spice. And I'm really confused about the Ginger Spice because, like, her iconic outfit was, like, the red, white, and blue, like, oh, like yeah. the flag outfit. But she's wearing some, like, Japanese, like, like kimono type <laughs> Thing? Yeah. I don't understand. I mean, that. that kind of stuff was big in the '90s, though. Yeah, it was. It really was. She probably actually might have like chopsticks in her hair or something. Do you remember that trend? Yes, I do. Oh, it was so weird. Yeah. The '90s were full of weird. But um, everyone's favorite was Baby Spice, but my favorite was actually Posh Spice because of like how serious she was. Mm -hmm. I think. And my sister's favorite was Sporty Spice. She I actually love, had Sporty Spice. I love the fact that you're like how serious you are about this. Yeah. Like, really she was serious. very serious, and I really liked her because of that. Yeah. Did you like her because of that, because of the movie, the Spice World movie? No, no, I liked her before the Spice World movie. Oh, okay. So how'd you keep up with them before the Spice World movie, other than her music? Like, interviews and stuff? Uh, the music, and I think I had, like, books and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I actually sort of want to pull them out. I don't know if you noticed, but each of the Spice Girls have their own action figure. <laughs> I think that's the most hilarious part. And Personally. like they they have their little signatures on the bottom. There's Emma and uh, uh, Ginger Spice. What was her name? Okay, can I just tell you uh, who? Ginger Spice. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I, I, I'm I going to be honest. It. I'm going to be honest Jerry about this. I think Jerry, something like that. Um, this little action figure of Scary Spice is the most haunting thing I've ever seen in my life. Can I see? I it? almost want to open the box to, to show it. What if now that I pulled it out, we get, like, a demon in the house, and we get possessed? There's, like, voodoo and something wrapped up into this? Yeah, that's... Look how haunting that thing is. It looks like it's looking up. She is so creepy. That She's is the creepiest really thing weird. I've ever seen in my life. No, it's not the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life, but that is really creepy. Are, are you talking about me? Where Was that going to be, like, a joke about how, like, I'm creepy? No, 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 you're not creepy at all. That does it for this part of episode 51 please remember to like subscribe share and comment on our video we'd really appreciate it please let all your friends know about us always remember we hunt together we will catch you next time bye We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Gasselcast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye.